The Lemprey Dynasty is one of the world's greatest ghost stories. Today, we offer you the chance to discover the history, explore the legends and urban myths underground, where no one can hear you scream. Our company has built some of the coolest attractions across the world, but I have to say that this attraction here is by far the coolest place that we've ever built an attraction. I mean, this place is real. This would be the act of I tell you what, dude, if you can't find a ghost in here, there's no such thing. Dude, tell me this isn't Frankenstein's castle. Oh, this is just stuff left over here from either Lemp or Brown Chicken. One, two. This, this isn't a part of the haunted house, is it? No. Oh. Oh, you cool, There's no way out of this room. What's that? There's no way out of here. This room. This is way out. Is there a better place in the whole country to do a haunted house in here? And they got like a wall built there and... This is a pool? They had a pool down here. This is the real deal, isn't it? Dude, there's a Where? Holy cow, dude, an albino frog! Check that out! Check that out, dude, that is wild! What is it? Freaking albino frog. Yeah, he's probably poisonous. Well, everything down here is rusty. <laughs> Dude, I, I'm able to knock metal, like, off. Yeah, well, we'd have to rebuild that part, probably. Did you say probably? No, we yeah, will. The railing, putting on these top plates, and putting this on. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If there was ever a a really awesome place to do a haunted house, this is it. For those who don't know, uh, one of the most famous uh, haunted places in America is the Lemp Mansion. Lemp Mansion is always talked about on these paranormal shows and everything else because one by one, mysteriously, the Lemp started committing suicide. Starting with Fred Lemp, who died in 1901 of strange circumstances. William Lemp fatally shot himself in the head less than three years later. Why did so many members of this rich and powerful family die by their own hands? Could there be something evil lurking in the Lemp family mansion and caverns? Perhaps, as some surmise, it was the knowledge that gangsters were using the Lemp tunnels, caverns, and underground chambers as a quiet place to dispose of their enemies. The mansion is connected to the brewery by a series of tunnels, and that is exactly where we've put this haunted house. We got a contract to, to do this haunted house in the summer of 2010. And we told the owners of the place, because they really wanted us to do it, um, that we didn't think we could do it this year because we're known for the highest level quality. The darkness is, you know, in some cases, people refer to it as the best on a house in America, and Creepy World is, is one of the best as well. So if we were gonna do it, we really wanted to make sure it was done all the way. I guess Sally wants to play. time we could get over here because we were still working on creepy world trying to get the darkness open we were only left with one week so we've got literally one week to make this place look awesome so today is Tuesday and we're getting an inspection on Wednesday uh, and we're trying to open on Friday and we're having to do everything this place is muddy it's dirty because there's water there's condensation in here. So literally, we have an army of people in here and we've been trying to knock it out. Today, I think we have like 20 something people working all day long. Started out the, the guys that we hired, you know, new to help out. I mean, they're just, uh, just helping out to try to get the place open. Uh, I think a lot of times, myself mostly, I get really frustrated with them because 
I'm thinking like they have more common sense than, than obviously they do. Hey, this brown workers. You're still working on that? <laughs> you got jokes today, don't we? You want to see yesterday again? Well, <laughs> well we have an a, a crew and a B crew. That's B. Maybe C. Here, that was probably four more, but that's greenhorn, so the only way to get in this place is with a big, gigantic freight elevator, unless you want to walk down zillions of steps. So, we had all these props to bring in over the weekend, really hoping to get a big jump on getting this place done. And the freight elevator breaks, and that's a problem because if the freight elevator breaks, we can't even put people in the haunted house, much less get the haunted house set up in the first place. So, that was a problem, it was broken all weekend, it finally got fixed today, and then that really sped things up. Is this like the dirtiest place you guys have done a haunted house? No. I would say dirtiness. It's a little different environment. You know, the issue on whether or not we make it or not really boils down to can we pass the fire codes. Um, we have no idea. A few years ago we tried to open the darkness in the new building and it got pushed off two weeks because of different fire code type things that they wanted. So whether or not we can get this place open or not is going to be it's 50-50 at best. And provide me a place for the actor to scare. You had you had this big long crate standing up on this thing right there. And yeah, was, that was wasn't afraid. done. Remember, you said once the rent was the in, we go would go like done. this and go, oh, that ain't good. You mean just like any of the rest of it? What are you supposed right, to Right, you, you had a bad morning and wanted to yell at somebody. You yelled at everybody. I, I came through. down here and saw the whole scene that was yeah, coming last night. Oh, was so shit. shit. Not torn to shit. It was torn. It was not how you left it. So I don't know. A lot of stress on me. I didn't want anything torn to shit while I had an inspection. Right. It wasn't torn to shit. I can't believe you keep saying that. The one guy was really tough. Uh, they looked at everything, and after they they saw that it was spring cleared, and they saw that uh, that I that I had all the emergency lights and everything good, uh, they pretty much said that they thought it was good. So, That's a pass. That's a pass. So I got an electrical inspection tomorrow, which should be a piece of cake because uh, uh, all the electric is brand new. And then we have the fire system. As long as the fire system works the way it's supposed to work, I don't see a problem with us opening now. So you never know. That's always tomorrow. We got plenty of fire extinguishers. We got plenty of we got brand new fire systems. So. All right. We'll see. Well, we had all the inspectors uh, come out and. You know, we had to have them come out a couple times, but in one week we were able to pass all our uh, inspections and get a permit to open on time, which was really exciting because I really didn't think after all the dealings I've had with the city in the past that that was even going to be possible. And we had such a narrow, narrow time to get inspected. Uh, I was surprised it went as good as it did, but it did. It went really good and uh, I guess all the years of experience paid off and we knew exactly what they were going to be looking for and we took care of it. So I just had an inspection and I got his pass on the first try. <laughs> Can you work your way out here? Because I got several bottles of wine. Well, who do you have now? Nobody. I thought you said everybody was here until 8 o'clock. How the hell are you expect to get this thing done? When you got 20 people all trying to, you know, do something, you better get a lot accomplished. If you don't, that's because you got poor leadership. You know what I'm saying? Aren't you the leader? Yeah, but I wasn't here. Hey, throw these out, Riley. We don't need any. Okay, well, you gonna come down here? Dude, I'm not, dude, there's, there's like 20 boxes or 10 boxes of wine bottles. Just come on down here. You're tired. Get an energy drain. Get up here. Jim. Are we done? What's up? No, I want to go through and make a detailed list. Look what some idiot did, dude. You so much as bump that and it's going to fall over and kill somebody. It's going on the list right now. Yeah, well, dude, how is it that nobody knows it before now? That's ridiculous. That is a good question. Let's just pay a guy to stand here all night. Say, don't hit this because if you do, it'll fall over. 
because what I wanted was like a canopy bed or a bed with like a dresser and some chairs. And I wanted the fat guy laying on the bed. You got something crazy growing on the side of your head right there. It's not something growing. It's called paint or something that I've wiped off. No, oh, right there. That is like a big giant sore. You sure you didn't get mold in your face? excited about being the first ones to go through this? Yes. All right. Hey guys, uh, we, we're gonna make sure everybody reaches that line first. Oh, it's an elevator. Today, there is only one way in, by boarding an old freight elevator and being dropped off in the dark caverns underneath. A week after a week opened, uh, we had the state of Missouri come out and tell me that the elevator, which was all approved and everything before, and all of a sudden you can't use the elevator. Yeah, so the, uh, the inspector came in and said that it was for freight only, so now we can't take people down it. So we spent a whole nother week trying to figure out we could get open again and, and we got that done so it was more hectic more uh, stress <laughs> but it got open <laughs> the spiral staircase is narrow and uh, it goes down like two and a half flights but it worked it worked you know people were able to use it this year Best costume or the worst costume? It's a very good costume to scare people and a very bad costume to breathe in. What if you had to go to the bathroom? The good thing is, I go beforehand. Oh, oh, I'm sick, I can't. The house is working. It's working just fine. The LEP was really good. The attendance was really good for its first year. And, uh, you know, the first year, you always have a few things that you're not sure, uh, you know, if people are going to like or not going to like. And so, I mean, un unlike Creepy World and Darkness, where we've had 12 years on one and 17 years on the other to figure out what's wrong and not wrong with it, uh, Lemp, one year, you know, I mean, actually three months. So uh, we now know what people did and didn't like about it, and we know what we need to do to uh, change for next year, so it'll be just that much better. The Lemp Brewery Haunted House located at 3500 Lemp Avenue off South Broadway in St. Louis, Missouri. Visit www.scarefest.com for more details. Welcome to the Lemp Brewery! Oh! 